Welcome everyone to my presentation on the Generation 4 research. My name is Turaj Geznevi and I'm a PhD candidate at the University of Toronto. For my research, I studied the chemistry of high temperature molten colorized salts and corrosion behavior alloys in these media, leading to insights to stature material performance in molten salt reactors. In molten salt reactors, the technique of colorite or fluoride salts are used as a coolant. They have advantage of passive safety and higher efficiency. However, new alloys must be developed and their corrosion behavior merits special attention at the fundamental level. In the field of molten salt corrosion, selective dissolution of alloying elements is mostly discussed in terms of one-dimensional diffusion of active element from the bulk to the surface, which necessarily involves the diffusion of metals. Chromium at the surface oxidizes and at higher temperature, chromium migrates from the interior to the surface and corrosion continues, leaves behind vacancies which coalesce and form subsurface voids. In my research, I have built a null electrochemical cell for molten salt system and have developed a reliable reference electrode for eutectic molten colorized salt. I have studied corrosion behavior of modular and nasir alloy in these media by electrochemical and advanced characterization techniques. Salt retain moisture even at very high temperatures. Moisture must be removed, otherwise it will dominate a parent corrosion response. I have developed a process to minimize moisture content and have achieved in situ measurement of remaining moisture content electrochemically. I have studied fundamentals of alloying effect and investigated critical alloy composition through a study of iron chromium nickel model alloys that I made with cold crucible induction aviation melter. The operative mass transport in the alloying is diffusion of more novel element at the solid and electrolyte interface. The parting limit is minimum content of less novel element below which the de-alloying is prevented by passive layer of more novel element. The more usual case for parting limit is threshold of 55 to 60 atomic percent of less novel element. I found that up to a certain temperature there is a de-alloying of a type observed in aqueous solution in molten salt with porous deformation and parting limit. The threshold for electrolyte dissolution of a less novel element in molten salt dropped by several percent compared with the aqueous solution. This is due to a very fast surface diffusion of more novel element in molten colorized salt. The alloy layer was purely nickel with residual amount of iron and chromium at the ligament core. Correspondingly, the porosity was coarse and shows secondary corrosion through the ligament course. Indeed, there is a parting limit for molten salts. At 68 atomic percent of nickel, there is only grain boundary attack and no porosity. The alloying does appear at certain conditions, but is very superficial. So more nickel suppresses the alloying process, but at lower nickel contents, iron and chromium as active elements promote oxide formation at the surface at the presence of moisture. Similar pattern observed in ternary alloys. At lower nickel content, the alloy propagates below an oxide layer of iron and chromium. So to some extent, there is a balance, massing on the line dependency of the alloying on nickel content. This type of the alloying is mediated by surface diffusion. At higher temperature, there is a shift to different mechanism involving lattice diffusion, where porosity changes appearance to negative dendrites. At very high homologous temperature, the de alloying will revert to the future mostly described in the molten salt literature with planar interface. I acknowledge my research supervisor, Professor Roger Neiman, and financial support of NSERC and Unini University of Toronto. Thank you.